Hello. This time, I would like to introduce four ways to debug the background job. Before showing the ways to debug the background job, please let me explain the program that is executed in the background for this demo. So let's got to the transaction SC38. The program used for this demo is zdemo underscore endless underscore loop. This program is just writing the timestamp and executing the endless loop. This is because I wanted to make it simulate the long running background job. So this program is never finished without changing the value of variant LV underscore CNT in the debug mode. Let's execute this program in the background. Select the menu, Program, Execute, and Background. Click Run now. Then click Job Overview. Push Execute. The background job is running and this is never finished without changing the value of variant in the debug screen because it is processing the endless loop now. The first way to debug the background job is debugging the, the active job. To do so, set the cursor on the job, and select the menu, Job, and Capture Active Job. After several seconds, the debug screen would be appeared. Here comes the debug screen. The processing is stopped at the execution of endless loop. Let's change the value of variant LV underscore CNT, to make it continue the processing and finish. Then push continue button. Push refresh button. The job is finished. The next method to debug the background job is for the finished job like this. But before do that, let's set the breakpoint to the source code in order to make it stop at the preferable point. Back to the transaction SC38 and set the breakpoint. Let's set the breakpoint here. Go back to the transaction SM37. To debug the finished job, put the cursor on the job, and input JDBG in the command field, then push the enter key. At first, the processing is stopped at the outside of the background job, so let's push the continue button to execute it until the breakpoint set before. The processing is stopped at the breakpoint in the background job program. Let's change the variant value and make it finish. The third way to debug the background job is using the standard program BTC loop. This SAP standard program is executing the endless loop, so setting that program as the first step of background job, and then setting the program that you want to debug as the second step. To do this way, at first, set the breakpoint in the program that you want to debug, then execute the background job. The processing is stopped at the first step program BTC loop because it is doing the endless loop. At that time, capture the job and continue it until the breakpoint you've set, then you can debug the program as you wish. This method can be used for the background job that is neither currently active nor finished. Let's check the source code of BTC loop at first. It is just executing the endless loop. 
it won't be finished until you change the value of i, to the value other than zero. Now let's create the job in the transaction SM36. Input the job name and hit the enter key. Set BTC loop here, and push save button. Push create button to set the second step program. Input the program that you want to debug, then push the save button. This job executes BTC loop as the first step, then execute ZDemo endless loop as the second step. Push start condition. Select immediate and save. Push the save button. The job is released. Push own jobs. Put the cursor on the job and select the menu, job, and then capture active job. The processing is stopped at the program BTC loop as expected. Change the value of I to 1 to go further. Then push the continue button. It would be stopped at the breakpoint set in the program of step 2. Oops. It didn't go to the breakpoint set in the program of step 2. Anyway, let's check the current situation. I was setting the breakpoint here, but it doesn't exist now. Let's finish this program anyway. Let's check the breakpoint set in the program ZDemo Endless Loop. There is the breakpoint set like this, but this is the session breakpoint. Delete the current session breakpoint, and set the external breakpoint instead. Go back to the transaction SM37. Schedule the job again by the menu. Repeat scheduling. Execute it immediately. This time, the process is stopped at the breakpoint as expected. So it is necessary to use the external breakpoint, when using BTC loop as the first step of background job like this. The fourth way to debug the background job is almost same with third way. But this time, the used SAP standard program is ARS Wait SEC, instead of BTC loop used in the third way. This program is not executing the endless loop like BTC loop, but waiting for seconds specified by the parameter. To change the waiting time from the default 10 seconds, it is necessary to create the variant. Let's change the waiting time to 30 seconds. Input the description and save it. The variant is created now. Let's check the created variant is available for just in case. It seems to be available, so it is OK. Now let's create the job in the transaction SM36 as one did in the third way. 
set R's weight SEC with the variant created just a little while ago. After that, save it. Set the program that you want to debug as the second step of this job. Select the immediate start as the start condition. Save the setting, and the job is released. Push own jobs to check the job. Put the cursor on the job you want to debug, and select the menu, job, and then capture active job. Because it is waiting without executing any processes, debug screen is not shown soon. It is necessary to wait for seconds based on the specified parameter. Now here comes the debug screen. Push continue and then it will stop at the external breakpoint set in the next step program of this job. Then you can debug the program as you wish. Summary there are four ways to debug the background job. First, debugging the currently active job by using the menu Capture Active Job. Second, debugging the finished job by inputting JDBG in the command field. In this case, the session breakpoint can be used. Third, creating the job and set the program BTC loop as the first step, and set the program that you want to debug as the second step. The program should be debugged must have the external breakpoint in this case. Fourth, creating the job and using R's weight SEC instead of BTC loop in the third way. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check my other videos and subscribe this channel, if you like.